What is up, Diecast family? Happy Monday to you guys. Hope your weekend was great. Went out hunting, found some cool things that you want to share sometime during the week. And other than that, man, I am happy to be alive. <laughs> So guys, we're going to kick back and go through some of my favorite Maisto design pieces. Uh, a lot of you don't know, I collect a lot of the Maestos, uh, transporters and whatever, whatever. And I do have some favorites that I like to share with you guys. So I have like the transport and the toe and go which are pretty cool like this one sitting in front of you it's, it's a 1957 Chevy Bear Lair with an Alameda trailer it's like it just reminds me man of back, back in the 50s when families used to all get in the car and take vacation and, and bring their trailers along with them and just drive across the country. And I think that's why I like a lot of the 50s cars, man. It's old school. Because of that time frame, right? So guys, as you can see, I will be opening them as we go. It is cool, right? Now the trailer, it's all plastic. I got to fix the wheel on this one. There we go. So yeah, it's all plastic. But these, these are pretty cool though. The two tanks. This is a little wheel. So I get, you know, when you get ready to find your spot, you just, Crank it down, this guy sticks in the ground and keep it level. But then we have the car itself. And they still make some great cars when they have to. The next one Mike Dyson sent me this one. I, I definitely didn't have this guy here.
because I thought for sure I had all of them. But I didn't have this guy. So it's a 57 Chevy flatbed with a 71 Camaro Z28. So the cab itself is die cast, but everything else is plastic. The car itself is pretty darn cool. I like a, a good tow truck also. I like tow trucks. I don't have enough of them, but I would definitely like to collect more. So this is the 53 B61 Mac with a 1937 Ford. I would definitely love to collect more tow trucks. I think tow trucks are cool. Because uh, as most of you guys know, I do a lot of stop motion and stuff like that, and, and using tow trucks would be awesome. I wish I had a bigger enough spot so I can really. my thing in my stop motion videos so without the car on it Again, Mesa man, you got to give them their props. The main lines are crap, but when they get up to doing it, other cars, well, except for this engine on this, but other than that, the car is nice. Rubber wheels. Yeah, too bad they didn't detail this. I guess I can always detail this myself. So it's screwed in, but man. It's nice. So here's another wrecker with a 1970 Dodge Challenger RT.
So guys, um, I was I, I did a live Saturday, and um, and I said I wanted to do another one and invite uh, uh, customizers to come on and talk about their, their skills and what they do when they do their customs on their car. And that is open to anybody that wants to come on and, and uh, come on, answer some questions, uh, talk about your skills, that what do you use, uh, what's the best products that you use that works for you. Because everybody has their own way of doing things. So I just want to throw that out there. So if I will put out something maybe a day or two before. That way it won't be a surprise. But anybody that watched this video, you know, pass it on. You know, I would appreciate that. That would be something that we all can get into because... All of us cannot do custom cars, and I am number one. I cannot do a custom car. But talking with these guys uh, probably would give you enough confidence to give it a try. And, and that's what I'm thinking. Enough people trying to encourage you, explaining things, different ways to do it. That will, hey, make you think about it. Because if you guys notice, our friend Mike Dyson and MacGyver's Tires and Wheels, <laughs> have you guys checked out what he's been doing lately? And he was, again, he was just like me. Did no customs or anything, but now, hey man, he is doing his thing now. And I like watching what he's doing because I, I am so impressed by that, you know. I'm impressed by anybody that can do custom, to be honest, but when he started doing it, it's like, wow, I was impressed with that. So, enough with that. Again, guys, another tow truck. I just dig these trucks, man. I think I have two, I have two premiums. Again. With the cars, they do a good job with their cars. Again, you can't knock that. It's the other ones. It has the wheels, <laughs> those wheels that need to be changed on all of them. Where are we now? Let's see. Here's a 55 Buick Century with this trailer. So we had the 57, now we have a 55. I really wish I had somewhere I could put these guys out. And uh, display them so it's basically the same trailer but the car The trail is the same, just different color. 
And this one is smooth compared to this one here. We're basically the same. Again, it's, it's that trip going across country back in the 50s, right? The vacation. Pack up everybody in the car and just go. I guess that was a good time. That's when family was was family. They didn't have the, the trouble of what we going through, the kids going through now. It's just a shame, man. Times have really changed, right? So we have a Chevy El Camino 5067. And we have a tra traveler's trailer. So this one is the trailer is, is a little different. And this one is die cast. The little moon window. Detail. Then we have the, the car itself. The engine. It's sad to see great details on them. The exhaust. Very cool piece. Same concept, just a little smaller. This was probably for one. <laughs> this would probably be like for a guy that was going cross country, going doing different jobs. You know, he's going just to get work. So he have his home with him. I mean, so guys, I have so many that I can share with you guys. Uh, some of my favorite. I think I'm gonna do two a two parter. That way, you don't have to stay too long on watching this first one. So, guys, thank you for watching the first part of this. Hopefully, you enjoyed it and you have a favorite. Let your boy know uh, which one that you like. 
and I will do a part two because I have so many favorites. But I don't think one makes the second part as long as this one. But one never knows, right? I can say that. So guys, thank you if you made it this far. And hopefully you give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. And I will see you on part two. It's your boy signing off. Deuces. Until the next one, guys. I am out. Bye now.